Hello and welcome. I'm Malika Kapoor, Deputy Global Editor of Bloomberg Live, and I am delighted to introduce our next guest. He is the Chief Executive Officer of Valentino, Jacopo Venturini. Jacopo, thank you so much for joining us. You took on thank your new you. role as CEO of the company of Valentino on the 1st of June, 2020. I think it's fair to say that the first year threw in a couple of surprises for you. Tell us, what was the impact of the pandemic on Valentino, on the business, particularly with regards to store closures? And where do you stand in reopening um, your stores now? Well, uh, uh, first of all, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's a little bit complicated to, 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 to tell you about the opening and the closure since it was an on and off from, from the beginning. Uh, as you know, we, uh, everything started uh, uh, with the, the, the um, lockdown of uh, China, and then it in February, and then in January, February, and then it starts Europe, and uh, and then uh, we have been to a situation of uh, open and, and close uh, during all uh, 2020, and even in um, 2021. In uh, Europe, for example, just to give an example, from uh, mid-December uh, to mid-April, uh, uh, England was all closed, for example, until mid-May from, again, mid-December, uh, Germany was entirely closed, uh, Italy was on and off. Uh, nowadays, there was a moment uh, in, uh, in uh, 2021 where, uh, uh, sorry, in 2020, by the end of March, we have like half of our store completely closed. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, we have, uh, um, uh, I mean, everything is quite open except for uh, uh, what we call Southeast Asia. So Singapore, uh, Malaysia, and uh, uh, Australia, and also Japan, they are, uh, on, uh, on in a situation of uh, on and off lockdown. Well, what you did, and like and what many of us have had to do, is turn to digitization, isn't it? And you've uh, incorporated yeah. a very heavy online uh, strategy. Going forward, how important will online sales be, you think, compared to, say, physical store sales? And how important with, will your strategy of moving toward the digital future be going digital. forward? Well, from from the very beginning, um, we uh, try to let's say uh, uh, um, not to get by by this situation, but to find the way to make uh, a, a very difficult situation into uh, opportunities. So technology was uh, very important uh, to make us uh, being uh, faster uh, smarter but even closer during the pandemic and uh, just to give you an example of what we think about uh, being closer and adding a human touch to technology that can of course enhance the relationship with the final customer we have uh, um, humanizing the digital experience uh, with uh, uh, several uh, um, ideas. For example, one was, uh, we are not really stranger, that we launched in uh, January 2021 uh, during, of course, the pandemic, which was a card game uh, based on intimacy in which our community can entertain and interact by discovering each other personalities. Uh, the first video of this recorded 5.5 million uh, uh, organic views. On top of that, during the pandemic, we uh, entertain our community on uh, Instagram and other uh, digital with the, the word of literature, for example, with book by Elsa Mojimbo, The Alphabet for Kids and Adults. And uh, uh, as a first time in contemporary fashion advertising, there was a literary campaign with uh, Donna Tart. And uh, to, again, to bring our community together. We also did in the world of poetry, 
uh, we launched on Ryan Reading with uh, Rapu Kaur. And on the music scene, uh, we went live concert with profile like uh, name with uh, like Alicia Keys. So that's right. You've had a very back... busy year, yes, in terms of your digital strategy. But I wanted yeah, to switch but... it, our attention to sustainability. And I know you're a big advocate of that uh, personally. And as far as the brand is concerned, fashion is one of the most polluting industries in the world. But Valentino has developed a reputation for being a green brand. If you had to pick the one step you all have taken towards sustainability, what is the one decision you've taken as a business that's helped you be much more sustainable than you were before? So uh, let's say that first of all, our mantra is uh, very much to preserve and to give back. Be, 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 uh, give back. I think that one of the first very important big step that Valentino made was in 2013, which was uh, kind of pioneering with, with other few brands. And uh, uh, when Valentino joined the Green Peaks Detox Solution Commitment in the mission to eliminate all the dangerous chemical from our supply chain, chain and agreed on zero deforestation commitment project to help to protect uh, our life-giving waterways and rainforest. As a result of this, we, uh, we have reduced approximately by 63% of our chemical, substan chemical substance in the production. Then, of course, uh, as uh, uh, you, you know, we, um, already, we, we just uh, communicate that we are going to be full free uh, from uh, the end of 2021 in terms of production and from step, spring, Jacopo, summer. Yes, you announced that you're going for free. That is a huge step. But a lot of people yeah. would ask you, you know, you've decided to go for, for free, but of course you're still using leather. So can you truly be a green brand if you continue to use leather? Well, I think that you cannot decide to be a green brand uh, one day from the other. It's it's a process, and uh, we are committing to be as sustainable uh, as uh, as possible because we, we truly believe that this is the the the, the only direction that we can uh, uh, grow. But at the same time, uh, you are not becoming uh, fully sustainable. Uh, on one leap, you are going to do it step by step. So, we are going alpaca free, for example, from spring summer 2022. We are we are working on the viscose, uh, and we are already in uh, a virtuous viscose supplier for 70% of our production. We have launched, uh, uh, and that will be in the store. Uh, our Iconics Deacon, which is what we call open, open for unchange, which is totally recyclable. Um, and we have a plan to give back, give back, which I think it's a very important element. Uh, just to give you an example, plant trees uh, wherever we are in order to give back to the planet what we took off. And uh, another example of that is the is the campaign, it did the campaign, charity camp, advertising campaign that we made during the pandemic uh, based on empathy with the, our friends of the house. Uh, uh, everybody gave their um, fee to uh, Hospital Palanzani, Spallanzani in Rome, mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. is the Italian hub fight, fighting against COVID-19. So to me, now the concept of giving back, mm -hmm. it's, it's very important. In 2018, you know, there was a lot of controversy over Burberry because they burnt their excess stock. What do you do with your surplus stock? First of all, we don't burn, <laughs> <laughs> uh, which is uh, something very important. And then, uh, of course, uh, I mean, nowadays there are, uh, uh, we are really thinking uh, uh, on uh, upcycling the product. Uh, so there are processes in the company uh, of brainstorming on how to upcycling uh, the product. It's something that, of course, it's something very new, and uh, we are uh, we, we are thinking about that and we are working uh, very seriously about that. And uh, I'm not ready to tell you how, when, uh, and and uh, in which in 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 uh, in which way, but definitely it's something that we will do.